Hello everyone, welcome back once again and thank you for the comments and the feedback on my previous videos. That really helps me and keeps motivating me to create a new such videos which are helpful for the students who are appearing for the MSAT. In today's session, we're going to discuss about MSAT Achieve Math Test Algebra that is chapter number 3 which, which I named it as Linear Equations. So let's get started. Chapter number three, linear equations. In this section, we're going to discuss three to four important questions, how it appeared on linear equations in past MSAT exam. The question number one here is, in the XY plane, line K passes through the coordinate points 3, 4 and 5, 8. Which of the following is an equation of a line K? So when I'm talking about equation of a line, I can represent it in three different ways. So one, we write it as, y is equals to mx plus b where m is called the slope and b is called the y intercept y intercept is the point where line crosses the y axis and this equation is called slope intercept form second we can write it as ax plus by equal to c this is the standard form of linear equation and third is gonna be y minus y1 is equals to m times x minus x1 so where x1, y1 are the coordinate point through the line is passing and m again here it is representing a slope. So that is how. And here in this case, ax plus by equal to c where a, b, c are just the constants, any number. So this is how you represent the three forms of linear equation. If you look at to the option, they are asking us a represent in terms of the first type, right? Which is y equal to mx plus b. And whenever a question comes to find or represent something on the form of a linear equation, you need to do two things. Find the slope and find the y-intercept. So how do we find the slope? By using the coordinate points. We know that the slope is basically rise over run. So which can also be written as y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So which coordinate should I say x1, y1, which one you should uh, x2, y2, it's up to you. If I'm naming it as x1, y1, this coordinate point becomes x2, y2. Don't name it as x1, uh, x2, y1, y2, okay? So that is wrong. So we always talk about the x first and then y. Substitute here. These coordinate points carefully substitute and check what value of m you get. So it's gonna be 8 minus 4 divided by 5 minus 3. So 8 minus 4 is 4. 5 minus 3 is going to be 2. 4 by 2, 2 is the value. So I finally get the slope of this line is going to be 2. So m is equals to 2. So my equation now becomes y is equals to 2x plus b. Still, I don't know what is the value of b. Just by doing this part, you'll get rid of option c and option d because c and d have a negative slope. I have to get positive slope that is 2. Now how do we solve for b? To solve for b you can put the value of uh, any coordinate point that is x1, y1 or x2, y2 in this equation or you can also use the slope uh, point form of equation to solve for it. Either way is fine. As I say you can put any coordinate. Either you put the value of x and y as 3 comma 4 or 5 comma 8 doesn't matter you're gonna get the same answer so let me put these values it is x value is 3 y value is 4 so let me just write it here okay so y is equals to what we are having 2x plus b now let me substitute the value of x as 3 y as 4 so 4 is equals to 2 times 3 plus b so 4 is equals to 6 plus b when you take this 6 to the other side, it becomes b is equals to 4 minus 6. So finally, I get the value of b as negative 2. So slope is 2, y-intercept is minus 2. The final equation, I can write it here it as y is equals to 2x minus 2. That is option A. So that is how the question will be asked on finding equation of a line when the coordinate point has given. Question number two here is line L passes through the coordinate points minus 3 comma 8 and parallel to the line y equals to minus 2x plus 4. 
which of the following is an equation of line L. So here line L is parallel to the line whose equation has given to us, which is minus 2x plus 4. Now question asking us, what is the equation of line L? So when the lines are parallel, you should remember that the slopes of the parallel lines are equal. So irrespective how the slopes will be, let's say, suppose if I say this is the line which I'm talking about and whose equation has given as y equal to minus 2x plus 4 and the line L is somewhere which is parallel to it. I can say this is the line L which is parallel to it and it is passing through the coordinate point. Let's take minus 3 comma 8. Now question is what is the equation of line L? So the condition says when the lines are parallel, their slopes must be same. So equation of the line L, generally we can write it as y is equals to mx plus b. And as I said, lines are parallel, their slope should be same. So I can take the value of m as negative 2. Then your equation becomes y equal to minus 2x plus b. Slope of the parallel lines are same. So m is equals to minus 2 check it up which option has a slope as negative 2 answer may be either b or c get rid of option a option d because both are representing positive slope now what should we do next i need to know what is the y intercept to find the y intercept you have to take the coordinate points which has given do you what think of it like for what purpose they mentioned that the point is passing through this they indirectly says take help of these coordinates to find the y intercept. So I have to take up these coordinates and put it in this equation. Then equation becomes substitute x as minus 3, y as 8 and then equation becomes, let me write it here, okay. So y is equals to minus 2 x plus b is our original equation. Put their values y as 8 equals to minus 2 times minus 3 plus b. So 8 equal to minus 2 times minus 3 is going to be plus 6 plus b. Take this to the other way. Then the value of b is going to be 2. So y is equals to minus 2x plus 2 would be your equation. So therefore your final equation should be y is equals to minus 2x plus 2. And that is option C. And that's how you solve a question parallel to the line whose equation has given. Question number three here is, which of the following is slope of line L perpendicular to line described by the equation y is equals to minus 5 by 4x plus 7 by 4. There is a line L which is perpendicular to this. Now how the slopes are perpendicular lines are related. So let me show. See in the xy plane, if the two lines are perpendicular Perpendicular means they are intersecting to make an angle of 90 degree. So suppose if I say this is the line 1, let me say, and there is an another line which can be written as like this. And these two lines makes an angle of 90 degree. So let me say it as line 2. Suppose if I say the slope of the line 2, it's going to be, let me write it as M2. And the slope of the line 1, it's going to be M1. So M1 and M2 generally, I'm just writing the slope. Now, how their slopes are related, I can say that the slope of line 1 should be equal to minus 1 divided by slope of line 2. So, slopes of perpendicular lines are negative reciprocal. In, in other way, I can say here it as m1 should be equal to minus 1 divided by m2, which can also be written as m2 equal to minus 1 divided by m1. So, it doesn't matter which is perpendicular, which slope has given, that's fine. So that is how you give the relation with slopes of perpendicular lines. So let's apply here. Line L is perpendicular to this. And while finding the slope of line L, let's take a slope of line L if we take it as M and that is perpendicular to this equation. So perpendicular to the line whose equation is this. Then how do we get the slope of line L? that is equals to minus 1 divided by whatever the slope of this line, right? So that's what I'm going to do. Minus 1 divided by minus 5 by 4. If you put it in the calculator, which gives us as 4 by 5. So which is option C. Question number 4 here is the coordinate points 2 comma 6, 6 comma B and 10 comma 38 are on the same line. What is the value of B? 
So what are the coordinate points which are represented? They are on the same line and more than two points which are lying on the same line, those are called collinear points. And with the collinear points, you can find the slope by using any two point slope is always same. For example, if I'm representing the given information on a line, let's take the coordinate point, what they are saying here, two comma six, this coordinate point is 6 comma B and this one is let's say 10 comma 38. Whether they are near, far doesn't matter. As long they are on the same point, uh, I mean same line, we call it as a collinear points. Now with the collinear points, you can find the slope. If you, you are finding the slope by using these coordinate points, which gives me the value of M by using any two if you find the slope by using these two coordinates still i get the value of m as the same or you use these two coordinates still you get the value of m as the same so in short take any two point which are on the line the slope of those should be equal slope should be same which are like you know when the lines are on the same point now i have to take that help i have to take a help of that concept and i have to find the value of b see this type of questions are common either one of the value of b will be missing or one of the coordinate point is available as an option for you to select so you have to in either case you have to do it in the same way now what we gonna do first of all whenever they ask you question of this type on the collinear points take the two known coordinates and find the slope take any if there are more than three points like take any two known coordinate and find the slope in this case, if I name it as x1, y1, this is going to be x2, y2. So we know that the slope formula is m is equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, right? So substitute their values. That is 40, um, sorry, 38. Y2 value we took here it as 38 minus 6 divided by 10 minus 2. So 38 minus 6, what we're going to get? 32 divided by 8. So we get the value of 32 divided by 8 is going to be 4. So slope, I got it as 4. So that is the value of slope. Now, what should I do? Take a pair of a coordinate point where unknown is there. In our case, we have a B with the any other pair and find the slope. Because as I said, slope should be same. You can take help of these two coordinate points or you can take help of any these two coordinate point and write the same way for the slope. Doesn't matter. You're going to get the same answer. Okay. So let me start with the smaller number. I take it as x1, y1 and let me assign to find the new slope which has x2, y2. So what is going to, what we're going to do here? So slope should be uh, y2 minus y1 in this case b minus 6 divided by x2 minus x1 so 6 minus 2 and what is the value of slope as i said any two points if you take slopes are equal so value of slope here is gonna be 4 so this equation becomes 4 is equals to b minus 6 divided by 4 so to solve for b let's do cross multiply nothing is there means the denominator of this 4 is 1 so let's do the cross multiplication. So 4 times 4 is going to be 16 equal to B minus 6. And take this negative 6 to the other side. 16 plus 6 is equal to B. So from this one, 16 plus 6, we say B equals to 22. And the value of B here is 22. So this is how you asked to find a missing number or a missing coordinate point which is available as an option so all right so this is we go with the option b that's it for today hope you like the video please do share subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new videos you will be notified and the videos on the previous two chapter that is chapter number one and chapter number two the link has been given in the description box below please do check Thank you.